Hi, this is the second video that I want to show, which I promised at the beginning of the week that I wanted to show you. It's never got around, just demolishing my craft shed again as we speak. Okay, so what I'm using this time is a summer bloom, and I just want to show you how to make a basket. Now, we did do this at the demo on Saturday. I'll so flip through and find a nice sheet of paper. Here's the stripey one, I think. Okay, so this paper isn't double-sided. It is white on the other side, but I don't mind that. It's just, uh, quite nice and not quite so heavy. Okay, so I've just taken a sheet of 12 by 12. Now, the smaller the paper you use, the smaller your basket will be. So if you used 8 by 8 or 6 by 6, it would end up slightly smaller than this. So what I'm going to do is to fold it in half into a triangle and I'm just going to crease it across. Just use your bone folder. Okay, and then I'm going to flip it over. So I've opened it, flip it over, and then I'm going to fold it into a rectangle. Okay, now the ladies that came to my demo on Saturday will probably have one of these to take home with them. Hopefully this will start how to make it. But it's just like a giant tea bag fold is actually what we're starting off with. Okay. So there we go, and then all we need to do is to press these two side sections in, where you've got a little V section, you can see just there. So all we're doing is folding those two edges together, push this section in, fold that one back out as well. Okay, so again, just make sure it's nice and flat, give it a little crease with your bone folder. Okay, now on your open edge, so this is the side that's not fastened, so you'll notice on one side you've got one that's fastened there, and this side's the one that will lift up. Okay, so it's on this side. Put your finger on the edge, and what we want to do is to fold these down into that top corner. Okay, and we just need to make a little kite fold just down the centre. Doesn't match if it doesn't match up perfectly. What we're going to do when you've got your kite fold is flip it over, and again, exactly the same way. So my open ends now at the top, so I've flipped it. It's just open. Sorry, it's just to press those down into a kite fold. Okay, so we've got a little kite fold on each side. Okay, now that is the open end. Okay, you can just see just there that's coming open. Now what we need to do then is to put your finger down into the centre of this little kite, open it out and press it flat. Now you do have a little line that comes up here from your crease. That's fine, we don't need to bother about that. And we're going to do this on both sides. So fingers in, open your little fold, Make sure you've got nice sharp creases. Flop it open again. Turn it the other way. Finger in. Push it open and fasten it down. And again, we're just repeating this on both sides. Okay, so that's going to go on there. Now, I did promise one leg that this would be on my blog by Monday. I do apologise if it's you that I promised it to. So it's a really busy week this week. One finger or another. Okay, so we've opened those two sides up. So these are the sides where we've got us folds. So those two are going to be facing, and those two facing on that side as well. Now you see these little crease lines that we've got here? We're going to fold these flaps back on themselves again, just to create a sort of kite fold. And again, turn it over, back on one side again, and back on the other. Now what we need to do is the two little sections that you've got at the front and the back, we're going to fold those down. So this is the front one, flip it over, and that's your back one and then again fold side to side two pieces together there see that just there push that section down and fold two pieces side by side again and then we're just going to push that one down fold it over and push this one down and that creates a little basket it doesn't look too much like a basket at the moment but what I'm going to do is just put my fingers just into that section just there just give it a little tap on your work desk and that creates your little your little basket now I would fold mine down just along the edges just so I get a nice sharp fold and then this little section here put a little bit of tacky glue just on the back and stick it down just hold it with a safety pin or a uh, safety pin a paper clip just like that and then the opposite one away is again just repeat that give your basket a little sharp crease Give this little side a sharp, sharp crease, and that little side a sharp crease, and then these two sections here, if you want to make the little basket with a handle, just stick it together. Okay, and that's your little basket finished. Hope you like that project. Thanks a lot for looking. Bye.